Hi, what's up? How are you doing? Welcome to this video and this channel. Uh, today we are in a completely different setup. We are used to me sitting in my office explaining things in a computer, but today I've decided to shoot a completely different video. Now there is a little stream coming from the forest. And down here we have a water intake. I'm shooting a video because there is a few stuff I wanted us to discuss regarding the various options that are available for you when you finish your say, your certificate, your diploma or your degree. What are the options that are available for you? Should you go out there and start your job search or should you continue with your education? And remember, you can always leave your question. You can always ask me a question in my YouTube channel comments. Side, we have a forest. It's a very cool place, a very good scenery. And you'll be exploring this place. Now, to start with, I have five options for you after you have completed your course. And one of them is that... Uh, you may opt to not to pursue further education at all or that is not to pursue a diploma after you have completed your certificate or not to pursue a degree after you have completed your diploma or not to pursue any other further any other higher education after you have completed your degree and this option will require you to do a number of short courses so that you can make yourself more marketable when you go out there so we have said the first option is that you opt not to pursue any further education but you pursue a number of short courses now in these short courses you not only be looking for a certificate but here you'll be looking for a practical skill a skill that can market you when you go out there a skill that can make uh, your employer realize you are the person fit for the job and it will make you to be more competitive compared to other people who probably you'll be doing your internship with in the same uh, company. So previously we have done videos on uh, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, civil engineering and water engineering and some of the short courses that you can pursue in the field of uh, electrical engineering are the grade test in grade test you'll be examined for your practical skills so you normally start with the grade test three then you do two then you do one now when it comes to government contracting work they mostly will require you to have done a grade test so depending on the type of work they will require a grade test uh, three two or one and uh, grade test one carries the most weight so normally start with the grade test three or the eighth one then you can do short courses on things like a uh, uh, SORA, how to store SORA that is mostly licensed or uh, certificated by the Korea, uh, Kenya, Rural Energy Authority. You can do short courses on the electrical installation work. You can do short courses in water riding. Basically here you'll be looking for areas in electrical engineering that are very marketable out there. Uh, the places, areas that will give you opportunities for self-employment or opportunities for being employed in institutions you can do short courses in motor control this is the direct online motor starting star delta online direct motor starting or things like uh, the power the reverse for motors there are short courses on um, mobile and telephone repair all these are areas that are quite marketable out there when you go out there you can either start a business on your own or probably you get or probably you can get employed by a certain company. So here we are insisting on something that can give you an extra certificate and at the same time it can give you that extra skills that you need for the job. Uh, for mechanical engineering, for those pursuing uh, courses in mechanical engineering or uh, either automotive uh, production plant. You can pursue short courses on areas like uh, gas and aqua welding. You can pursue short courses on uh, uh, motor vehicle 
auto erect motor vehicle electric especially those who are doing uh, automotive engineering you, are, you can pursue courses on uh, motorcycle repair these are areas that are quite marketable in our country uh, so you don't need to need to be employed by somebody you can also pursue short courses on uh, panel beating spray painting for motor vehicles you can pursue short courses that require you to learn knowledge on autocad and solid works so these are things uh, that will make you to be marketable in various companies when you go out there for your attachment or your internship and at the same time they are giving you a certain practical skill that can self employ you so basically i do not insist that you have to be there right do your degree or do your diploma or do your master's if you are not interested actually it's far from that it's just something to help you become more marketable again for those who are pursuing courses in uh, building and civil engineering be it in a certificate in building and construction a diploma in building and construction a degree or a diploma in civil engineering or architecture there is also a range of short courses you can do there are uh, grade test exams or uh, certification we have mentioned about that you can do short courses on um, uh, plumbing and pipe fitting you can do short courses and carpentry and joinery you can do short courses on uh, machinery this is quite a, an area that have very op many opportunities uh, you can also do short courses on tiling or how to store tiles short courses on painting and decoration anything that will make you to be uh, a little bit more marketable anything that can make you uh, prove to an employer you are beyond uh, whatever you did in your school it's also good to have certificate in other areas like uh, sporting activities athletic ball games music drama clubs things like uh, World Red Club, Red Cross, all those two things they will prove to your employer you are beyond or you are above what they are employing you for water engineering because I've also done videos on water engineering they are again short courses similar to civil engineering on uh, probing and pipe fitting areas to do with surveying it's also quite common in water engineering and there are short courses in surveying things to do with GIS various uh, GIS softwares for mapping water resources uh, such as uh, QGIS, ArcGIS if you can get knowledge on these areas it will either help you AutoCAD these are things that will make you to be tapered uh, when it comes to other trainees in the organization who are doing internship or attachment the same organization so there are many courses that we will discuss in future but for the time being i want us to first of all concentrate on those because these are the areas that i've done uh, videos on and then in future as i explore more areas or more courses i will do more short courses in other areas that i'll be uh, shooting it's a little bit sunny but I'm still walking around the forest. I'm hoping there are no elephants. But the good thing is, there is an electric fence right by me. So I don't have to be worried about anything. Uh, there is a small stream here. And a very cool forest scenery. So, the stream is coming from the forest. And going that way ah, so let me close the stream now uh, for those who wish to continue with their depression i have my uh, first option for you remember this is uh, option number two because the first option was for those who do not wish to continue with their depression uh, option number two is for those who wish to do their higher diploma uh, first of all, a higher diploma is quite uh, relatively cheaper uh, to pursue compared to a degree uh, because, for example, in Meru National Polytechnic, one of the institutions offering a higher diploma in electrical and electronic engineering 
a higher diploma is only 24,000 per semester or per term. So that is relatively cheap compared to the degree program, which will, uh, will cost you somewhere between 40 and uh, 8,000, depending or probably even more than 100,000 per semester, depending on the university and the program. So a higher diploma is relatively cheaper. Two is more flexible, especially now that we have a higher diploma online program, for example, in Meru National Polytechnic again, we have an online higher diploma program for electrical and electronic engineering. So basically, even if you are working, it means you need to like, um, leave your job. Yeah, said one, higher diploma is cheaper, uh, it's more convenient, flexible, you can do it online. Uh, uh, you can do it even when you are still working, it will only take you two years. As compared to some degree program, even after finishing your diploma, that could take you even uh, four years. So higher diploma is uh, cheaper, convenient, flexible, shorter to pursue. And uh, it's also quite relatively marketable, especially in some public service jobs, especially when it comes to being being employed as a trainer in uh, one of the Tibet institutions that is either National Polytechnic, a Technical Training Institute, an Institute of Science and Technology and so on, you can be employed in the same job as somebody who has pursued a degree. Isn't that wonderful? So imagine, uh, after finishing your diploma, you get into the same job group, that is job group A, as somebody who did their degree. So, uh, that is for the public service if you have to be employed as a trainer in a technical training institute or Tibet institution. I'm not very sure about other government uh, parastatos like uh, the Kenya Power, Kenjian, Ketrako, Kenya Pipeline, Kenya Port Authority, Kenya Airport Authority, and other major parastatos. I'm not very sure about that. I'll research about that in, the, in due course. But for the area I know, I know you'll join in the same job as those who have pursued their degree. But now there's one disadvantage of a higher diploma. Uh, that is, you pursue your higher diploma, at some point, you probably still need to pursue a degree. That's the only thing I think I can say disadvantage of pursuing a higher diploma. At some point, you still feel, oh, maybe in this environment or in this workplace, I'm the only person who do not have a degree and probably I will need to pursue my degree. That's only disadvantage you can see of a higher diploma. At some point you still need to pursue a degree, to pursue a master, but it is a cheaper option. Especially if money is hard to come by, I mean you do not have the finances at your disposal to pursue a degree, so a higher diploma will be a cheaper option for you. So a higher diploma it can help you close the bridge to the employment and then later to pursue the degree you need and so on.